So, now we can get to our registration part of the tutorial. Um, well, for starters, we can... But if you guys are just starting on this part, I would, uh... You should probably watch the login one also, otherwise you won't understand anything about what's going on. Because we've already created all of the, um, uh... All of the tables and databases in that tutorial, so you can go redirect yourselves that way. So I guess we can start with creating a new file. PHP file. Let's just open some PHP tags. And, well, first off, we can save it. We'll save it as register. Okay. And, um, I guess we'll start with our form. Okay, well, we should also open the index file. Before we start on that, um, then we can create a link after the form, the login form, saying, let's say, create an account. and we'll redirect them to register.php so basically what we have is create an account login um, you know what we could try I'm just gonna see if this looks good let's put this inside of there. Oh, I like that look better. You can do it however you want, you know, your page that you're making. Uh, I think I'll leave mine like so. Okay, but we're going to have to add two new fields into our database and our users table. Um, we're going to have to look at the structure here. Let's add one after ID. It'll be name of uh, varchar. We can say twenty five. Um, save. And we're actually going to need it to add another one at the end of the table called date type would be date and basically this is just going to be the date that the user registered so we're going to save this so as you can see we have ID auto incremented name username password and date and in case you don't remember I already had a value stored in here um, from the login uh, portion of the tutorial we're just gonna delete that and we'll end up registering a new value uh, and now we can get working on our form back on register uh, let's go down to the HTML portion slash HTML form forward slash form this is going to be what's called a self submitting form meaning after you submit it you still end up on the same page which will be register.php uh, we can create a table and then we're going to have one row and two columns so for our first column it will say full name and our second column will be the inputting of that input type equals text name we can just call it full name 
And if you feel like doing extra work, you can make it to where it's not full name. You can say first name and then create a whole nother row for last name. But I'm lazy, so I like to use full name. And um, to make it look a little bit prettier, we can put out a header saying um, H1 slash H1. We can say uh, sign up in big pretty letters. Open this. Create an account. Sign up. That might look a little bit better if we uh, center that. A lot of people don't like using the center commands because apparently they're outdated, but I still prefer them. They come in handy a lot. Okay. That looks awful. I was wrong. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I thought it was going to center it, center it to the middle of the registration part, but that was not very smart of me because I didn't even include this inside of a table row. So we can just leave it like so. Refresh. There we go. That will be um now we're going to create a new row so i'm just going to copy and paste that entire row so from tr to tr um next i'm going to make a username so the user can choose a username type will be text we'll just have to change the name to a username um, now we're going to paste it again, and this one we'll call password, name can be password, type will be password, and um, let's copy and paste it one more time, and create a confirm password field for extra security in case they accidentally typed it in wrong when they were signing up so then their password won't be wrong so they'll have to confirm it make sure it matches password will be the type the name can just be confirm password now all we need is the date, but we can do that after the form has been submitted. It will automatically fetch the date and plug it into our database. Now, we can go ahead and try it out. Now, as you can see, this is evened out. In case you didn't notice why I was doing the table, but in here, all I did was a form and not a table. Because that really didn't need evened out very much. It's not very noticeable. Like, you might want to create a table here if you're making a professional thing going on. But for the tutorial, I didn't bother. On register, we kind of have to or else it will look awful. Okay, so this is how we have it so far. And uh, we do need a submit button, it would appear. So, so we'll need to go under the table, create a paragraph break input type equals submit name equals submit and the value can be create account and now we can refresh and uh, there we go looks pretty nice okay so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial what we're going to do is we're going to check these passwords see if they match and we'll check if all the fields have been entered and that i think that'll be it for our next tutorial so catch me in the next one see you